Welcome back, everybody, to another episode, to another rendition of Taco Tuesday. Let's talk about insurance. I'm Christian Brindle. And I'm Glenn. Glenn Shelton. And this is Taco Bell. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Bell Tuesday. Um, Let's talk about it. Welcome back, guys. Um, by the time this episode comes out, it's probably in October already. So um, you might already started be starting to feel the AEP jitters, if you will. So hopefully this episode will help you uh, do better with your leads. We're talking all about leads on this episode perhaps, today. Perhaps you're drinking a pumpkin spice latte. I know I was. You're, li- <laughs> you're, you're listening. listening. While you're listening, just know in comfort that that is exactly what I will be doing. <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about leads today, guys. You know I'm partial to everything leads. Uh, being an owner of a lead company, Lead Heroes, um, and this was a topic that I think it has to be discussed. It's important, and if you're listening or watching this and you're working leads for AP or your life insurance agent, or maybe you're in that dreaded PNC world and you're trying to figure out what to do. How do you, how do you convert your leads? What do you do? Or rather the question that we're asking today is what do you do if your leads don't answer, don't the, don't answer, answer the, phone. the phone? You know, you're getting a good old Hello. voicemail. Hello. 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 Anybody Christian, there? You there? Can you hear me? Hello. Oh, and, and you get one of those. And, and let's say, you know, you call one of your leads and you get one of those funny voicemails. It's like, hello, hello. And you're oh, just, you're, you're talking back to it. And then, you know, you, you, you do it for like 20, 30 seconds and it's like, hello, can't hear you. Hello, hello, hello. And then it's all, all of a sudden it's like, gotcha. Leave a message after the beep. Don't you just hate that shit. Don't you just hate that. We're going to talk about how to avoid all that today how to avoid it how to overcome it how to leverage technology yes um how how to be successful how to be a superstar i i feel like i i do feel like i have this conversation often with agents but i know it pales in comparison to the the amount of times that glenn does um so i i want to i want to start off by asking you the question what would you say to an agent that ordered a batch of leads and they said Glenn, we're not getting them to pick up the phone. What kind of questions would you ask? What advice would you give? And how would you diagnose the situation? Literally, literally, I had this conversation this morning. Literally. (laughs) Not figuratively, not yesterday. Literally, I talked about it this morning to an IMO. Um, Guys, if you're listening and you're not watching, Christian just put on his sunglasses, ramping up his cool factor from a cool level of four to probably about a seven and a half. So take it. Congrats. Take it. Congrats <laughs> on the increase there. Um, so I'm talking to a marketing director. I don't know exactly what their title was at uh, one of the IMOs we work with. And they're talking about AP and talking about, you know, our leads and leads in general and yada, yada, yada. But, you know, one of the things that came up was closing percentage, right? Obviously that's what everybody wants to talk about. How many leads am I going to close Glenn? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I'm glad you well, brought Glenn, that up. Glenn, I'm, I, I should be closing one out of two. <laughs> right, Glenn, fifty percent. That's what my my recruiter told me. He said the leads are a fifty percent close rate. So, God. So the first thing the first thing I told this person this morning though is I said, listen, the first thing I ask if you call me, yeah, if you call me up and you said and you say, hey, Glenn, I'm I'm really struggling with the leads. Like I'm not doing well. I'm not closing them, or I'm not getting as many sales as I want. The very first thing that I'm going to ask you is how many leads have you spoken to? That's the very first question I'm going to ask you. So if if I gave you a hundred leads, Christian, I'm going to say, how many out of those 100 leads have you been able to speak to? And God's honest truth, most agents cannot tell me. 
They cannot give me an answer. They don't know what that number is. They might be guessing. They might say, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Maybe 20 I spoke to. Maybe I only spoke to five. That's the first problem right there. If you aren't tracking how many of those leads you actually got a chance to speak to, or you're not tracking how many calls you made to each of those leads or how many times you tried reaching out, I'm pretty much already done at that point with you. <laughs> at that point, it's pretty much over. I really don't care because how can I even help you? How can I even have a conversation with you if you aren't even tracking what you're doing? Yeah. I can't help you. I can't do anything. I'm I'm powerless at that point because you might, it, it could go a number of ways at that point, right? You Maybe you spoke to a bunch of them, but your intro, what you were saying was off. Maybe you called everybody once and you only spoke to 10 or 15 people and you need to, you need to keep going. You need to get a hold of 70 to 80%. That's what you should be getting at. You should be able to speak to 70 or 80% of your leads. And if you get to 70 or 80% communication rate with your leads, then the sales should follow. Yep. Yep. I mean, I... I have this conversation pretty regularly myself. I'm sure you do with I'm with sure agents, you do. agents that are contracted with us. Um, there was an there was a situation the other day where I I did a free one on one coaching with someone for free just because I I kind of felt for them a little bit, um, and that you know I just did it. So I, I spent forty five minutes, maybe an hour, on the phone with this person, and what I found out was they they're their, their, uh, their rate of contacting the leads was so small. And what I always tell people is I was like, our intention with a batch of leads is 80% contact rate. That's exactly the number that I always use. So like, it's funny that you mentioned that. Cause that's, I, it completely perfectly aligns with kind of what yep. my goal is. My target is of how many leads I want us to reach. Um, and it's funny, you know, there's, I'll talk to agents that just got their license and they're just freaking clueless. And they'll be like, well, if the leads are any good, I should close 80%. I'm like, you're not going <laughs> to touch with 80%, bro. I'm like, I'm like, because I don't think people realize what we do internally to reach leads. Right. The, the amount of touches, the, the, the diversity of touches, um, which we will get into. Um, the gentleness of your touch, the gentleness or the veracity of your touch, um, <laughs> or the opposite of gentle, um, the, the tough touching, the, the rough touching, the rough um, touching. <laughs> um, but no, I think, oh boy. I think so many agents, like I, I told someone the other day, I was talking to someone yesterday on the phone, actually about contacting leads. And, you know, they were talking about last AEP, I just couldn't get people on the phone. And I'm like, yeah, I'm like, and what I told her is you need, you cannot make sales if you can't get, have a conversation with your leads. You can't sell your leads if you can never talk to them. Um, and so that is the problem you need to be aware of. Number one, number two, you need to be willing to do the work to fix it. Um, so how many times Glenn has, have you talked to an agent, bought an order, say that exact scenario we're talking about, you ask, and, 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 and I know you, I know you at this point, I know what you're going to ask. How many times did you call the leads? That's the, that's one of the right. first questions you're going to ask. Right. How many times do people come back and say, I went through one time, maybe two. Um, the vast majority will say the vast majority will fall into this category. They'll either say they haven't called every single lead yet that they've only called some of them or <laughs> yeah, yeah. right. Right. Or they've only called every lead once, or they've only called every lead once or twice. That's probably 80% of the agents that I speak to who are complaining about the leads. They fall into that category. It is very, very rare for someone to call me and complain and say, Glenn, I called every lead 10 times, 12 times, mm -hmm. and I'm still not happy. And I still didn't get this. It very, very rarely happens. And guess you want to know why that's so rare? Because if you call every lead 10 or 12 times, you're probably going to get sale. Like it, it's almost inevitable at that point, right? Yep. That you're going to get that sale. So um, you see like those stats, those sales stats, right? They get, they get, you know, posted all over. They get passed around. They get talked about, you know, 80% of sales happen on the 10th contact or whatever, right? Um and it it seems cliche, but it's it's very very much so true. You guys, you you have 
it, you're not going to get to the sales you want if you don't make the contact attempts. It's so simple. I mean, honestly, like, if, if you're an agent and you're listening to this and you're stressed about sales, I wouldn't even focus on the sales or the closing percentage. Your effort in trying to get your contact rate to 70 or 80%, that to me is everything. Yeah. Just like yep. Christian said. When, when I was a new agent on the rare occasion that I would get leads at that point in time, you know, um, when I would buy leads in my first few years, it was just so infrequently, it wasn't a big part of my business. But I was accustomed and programmed to making lots of phone calls a day. I would call a lead like six or seven times in the first day I got it. I would call on different phone numbers. I would use my cell phone. I'd use my office phone. I'd use another fake baloney phone number. I'd, I'd just do, and, and I would get in touch with people like crazy, be, but, but it would almost never be the first time. Um, right. I had a conversation the other day with an agent too that said, you know, I asked this, they said they were struggling with leads couldn't get them on the phone. And they're like, they're like leads just, you know, it's direct mail leads. You can't, you can't get direct mail leads on the phone. They're like, we do, you know, like, <laughs> we do. Um, and, and so I asked the question, you know, and I'm like, how many times you call the leads twice? I'm like, yeah. all of them. Yes. All right. So I start poking and prodding a little bit more. I find out that for the two phone calls were back to back because there was a training right. video that they saw from some right. goofball some guru, guru, whoever it was, guru. Um, that said, call back guru. to back, call back to back, which yeah. doesn't work. It's bullshit. Well, the new, the new thing, it, I don't know if you've seen it, but the new thing is triple dial. That's the new thing that everyone talks about is triple dial your leads. I would I'm not against that. it. Yeah. Well, I'm not against triple dialing, but it's less about triple dialing and more about what you just said trying different numbers and calling at different times of day. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's what matters. And so this yeah. was all that was done. There was a back-to-back right. -back dial and then the lead right. was never called again. I'm like, there's your problem right there. And so I'll tell her, you guys what I told her. Cause I walked through with her, what we, what our follow-up process is. So we get a lead. We will call them twice a day for four days. We're going to call eight times. We're going to try different times of the day. That's what I teach. That's what I have our internal office do. That's why I have our agents. When, when, agent, when an agent's in our office, that's what I want them to do. Um, then we will have another 17 or more, 17 to 20 automation follow-ups over the course of the week, you know, during these phone calls, during these four days, but also Guys, beyond I've them. I've gotten, Christian put me in these automations so I can speak <laughs> to the truth of these automations. It almost ruined my life. <laughs> How many times he automatically followed up with me. So um, everything he's saying is valid and true. I just wanted to go on the record and say that. Speaking of which, I need to put Eric in. He's, I need to do yeah. He's yeah, next. Please, he's God. next. Please Eric... God, remove me from your CRM. <laughs> it's like, it's like a stranglehold. You're, like, you're in, you're in the torture chamber, you know, like. Um, Text and messages, ringless there... voicemail. And normally what it is, is right when the lead enters the system, they're automatically getting a pre, pre a text message, a pre-recorded voicemail, and they're getting an email. An hour later, they're getting another set of those three, and they're slightly different. Then 24 hours later, they're getting another three. You know, and then we just we just hammer them over and over and over again. Um, and there's a lot of people that won't answer the phone, but they will respond to a text message. Um, yeah. And some people, after they've been hit, like. 14 times or so from automation they'll call back in and they'll be like who are you like what are you doing like what is this you know right. and um our contact rate is 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 80 percent. that's what our goal yeah. our, our goal as a contact rate is on any batch of leads and that's what it takes to get an 80 percent contact rate right that's i think so i think like everyone's in the same camp when it comes <laughs> to like hey you need to get a hold of 80% of your lead. Like everyone would be like, oh yeah, absolutely. That makes sense, right? Like no one's going to argue that point. Um, but the work it takes to get there, that, mm -hmm. <laughs> that's where people start to fall off the wagon, <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, and, and, and I think part of the problem is there are a group of agents who think if I call every lead once or twice, I should hit 80%. And if I don't, then 
it's the leads qual it's the lead vendor it's the quality of the leads got to be the leads yeah got to be the leads it's got to be the fucking leads right like <laughs> It can't yeah. be me. I called every lead once or twice. So it can't be me. It's not my fault. And here's the other thing I want to mention too. And again, this kind of comes from my own insight from making millions. We've I've estimated it's probably over a hundred million phone calls, which is like a number so big it's hard to really even um fathom it. But after making more than a hundred million phone calls, what I can tell you is there are so many outside factors that you can't possibly take into consideration when you're making a call to someone. Um, and I'll just give you a few off the top of my head. Uh, holidays, whether a holiday is just behind you or coming up or you're calling on a holiday, um, it could be a, not a major holiday. It could be a major holiday. Uh, school schedules is school in session is school not in session what's yeah. the weather like guys i'm in the i'm in the pacific northwest the weather sometimes is horrible sometimes it's great weather and let me tell you when the weather was nice i couldn't get a single damn person to pick up their phone up here mm -hmm. and i know a lot of people might be like well that, you're being crazy glenn no i'm telling you like there are outside factors that you have to take into consideration you know, sometimes people who responded to a lead are only going to be available to talk to on Saturday or Sunday, Yeah, Monday through Friday. They are so busy with their life. I don't care if they're a senior. I know seniors who are so active Monday through Friday that you're not going to get a hold of them unless it's on the weekend. Yeah, me too. So again, that's just a few off the top of my head where there are these outside factors that you have to take into consideration when getting to that 80% pickup rate. And uh, what Christian outlined, I do want to say this really fast too, but what Christian outlined as far as how many touches they're trying to make to their leads to get to an 80% contact rate, that's fantastic. He's way above average. There's probably only a group of 3% of agents who are willing to do or are, have it set up to do what he's doing. And, and Christian's going to win by default because he's in that 3%. Brad, I just made that number. It sounds great though, doesn't it? Three, oh, you're in the top, absolutely you're in the top 3%, Christian. <laughs> I'm going to ship you an award when we get off this call here. I'll put it up in, I'll put it up in the <laughs> office, a plaque, a plaque. <laughs> but the point is, is that the vast majority of agents are not putting in the effort to get to an 80% contact rate. So if you are willing to do it, you will win. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, when I was first as starting out as an agent, I was cold calling. Um, I was when when I, even when I started working leads, I didn't have any automation process. I was just calling with a phone. But it I was yes, I was a freaking phone terrorist. You know, these people are like, this guy won't give up. You know, I would get people on the phone. That's the freaking name of the game. It's always been the name of the game, and. Um, I, I talked to someone the other day too, that were like, I just want leads that will pick up the phone. I'm like, well, when you find them that do it on the first time around, tell them, tell me about them. Cause they don't exist. <laughs> I'm like, 100%. it's, it's, it has nothing to do with the lead. It has everything to do with people. And, and, and people even with busy. a live, and, and even with a live transfer, you guys, cause I know there's a group of agents who just heard what Christian said and they're like, well, I get live transfer. live transfer. Guess what happens on a live transfer? They're on the phone the first time you guys, that's a hundred percent contact rate. I win. <laughs> well, guess what guys, you're still having to follow up. If you think you're going to get all your sales out of that first phone call on a live transfer, you are so freaking wrong. It's incredible. Yeah. There's again, a huge number of agents and agencies who do try to get all the sales on that first phone call and they are leaving so much meat on those leads. It's incredible. You can get three times more sales by continuing to follow up. Mm -hmm. There's, there is no magic lead. What Christian said, you have to go and do the work. You have to make the calls. You have to follow up and you can automate it, right? Shout out to Mr. Fierro at DFY Christian. You utilize DFY. Tell tell some of our listeners about it. Love DFY. Um, DFY, because I get asked this, the, the, the number one question I get about DFY is what does DFY stand for? For some reason, that is the thing that everybody wants to know. 
They don't care about anything else. <laughs> the FY stands for done for you folks. And um <laughs> getting sassy. <laughs> done for you. Um so it's it's Eric Fierro's go high level. Um his 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 licensed out and pre-built go high level platform. Um it's really, really good. It's really, really good. Eric does a really good job with it. We use it. I love it. Um, it's it, what we just talked about our 17 automated touch points of leads. That's how we do it. That's how it's done. Um, and the work of on that end of it is being, is just building it out, but it, the system is working 24 hours a day for us to touch these leads. Um, and the only work we're really doing is we're making two calls a day for four days. It's not that, that doesn't sound that bad to me. Um, I was making calls, when I was cold calling, I was calling, making three, maybe 400 phone calls a day, you know, on, um, and so, so two phone calls a day, guys, like uh, per, per lead different times of the day. Like I, 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 I don't know. I feel like some, some agents really need to toughen up. Um, but, but it's, it's a great system. It's an automated, um, workflow, um, a, you know, ex, extravaganza of a platform, it can, it can host funnels, websites. Um, it just has so many capabilities. Um, and you know, you can, you can follow up with people on an automated, um, process through text message, voicemail drops, emails, just everything that I mentioned before. And, um, it's a great platform. Um, and you have to customize a little bit. So when it, I think when some people think done for you, they think it's plug and play, but, uh Oh, there's that word plug and play, <laughs> plug and play. <laughs> I mean, I'll tell you guys something. There's our, there's like, there's probably close to nothing in the entire industry that's plug and play. And the reason for that is because in, there's no system that can stick a wire into your ear and go into your brain and, and download what you want that. And everybody's different with how they want to do things for their business. So um, whether it be a course, whether it be a marketing platform, whether it be a lead service, whether it be a marketing service, whether it be an automation service, you're going to have to right. do some work to customize it. Um, and if anyone tells you otherwise, it's either, you know, it's either some revolutionary service or they're full of shit, probably more the, the latter. The latter um, yeah. But yeah, that's, that's DFY guys. Um, DFY is a great platform, totally endorsed by six figure Medicare agent um, and by me and by Glenn. So it's great service and we use it internally. It's a big help. Yeah. I, I highly recommend, we have several clients at Lead Heroes and Hire Heroes that utilize the DFY platform. I've personally been on webinars and I've seen Eric go through <laughs> kind of how it works. So I know firsthand very much so like Christian, it, it's just leveraging technology again to make your life easier as an agent to get to that 80% contact rate. Yep. Um, you know, I, we're, we're coming up close to that 30 minute mark. So I do, I do want to kind of respect your time, Christian, but um, I'll kind of share some of my final thoughts with you guys. And, and really there's so many stats and KPIs and like conversion metrics that you can track as an agent or as an agency owner. But when it comes to leads, you know, the, one of the most important ones is the one that we've talked about this whole episode. And it's how can I get to an 80% or higher contact rate. That's the stat where if the sales were lacking, I'm I'm checking that metric. If I'm not getting the sales that I want, I'm checking that metric to see what that is because chances are if you're down 20% in sales, you're probably down 20% in your contact rate as well. It's it's yeah. usually in hand, it's usually that much in hand, in sync together. So that's my final thoughts, you guys. And call the damn leads. <laughs> call the, call leads. the damn leads. Call your call leads. The, call the leads. No. I mean, they don't they don't call themselves. They're not um, yet. That's coming up. <laughs> oh man. They'll, they'll, these leads will call themselves and sell themselves. You know, there was a a, a marketer in India that was pitching me on that. <laughs> he literally told me that um I, I told him I told him that I was trapped in the basement because my my wife caught me having an affair with a guy. Oh my and gosh. Uh, you know we're we're having this deep conversation I and um, and and uh 
who's the boy <laughs> and i and, and i told him i also lost my all my fingers were chopped off so i couldn't actually dial the phone to dial the leads and he told like, me that he worry. would he said he would call them for me and sell them and put my agent number on him if i just buy so that's Green. the that's the guy we need that's the guy that is the guy that's the lead hero right there <laughs> he would not give up i need to hire that guy he was just you like should. persistent like and no matter what i said no matter how ridiculous i'm like i don't have a face and <laughs> And he's just like, he's like, that's okay. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll Don't worry about we'll, your we'll face. We'll get through that. We'll get past that. We'll fix your face later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, guys, my final thoughts would be um, call the leads, guys. Good things happen. Good things are happening when you call the leads. And um, stop trying to get out of calling the leads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Stop. Stop making excuses for why you didn't call your leads. Be like, oh, I got busy. Went to the fair. And I'm like, call the leads. Um, call the leads. I don't. That's my final thoughts, guys. I think Glenn hit uh, it right on the head, and I, I, I think I feel like that's really just that that name of the game, guys. Call the leads. Mix it up. Um, call them multiple times, multiple times of the day, and good things will happen. Your contact rate will go up. Your sales will go up. Your your commissions go up. Guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, smash that like button, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. Let us know what your thoughts are. Tell us what your contact rate is. Maybe you don't see 80% right now. Well, tell us what it is and we'll tell you, you suck. It's not, <laughs> it's that simple. So no, um, tell us what your contact rate is and, and we'll, we'll kind of probe you and see if there's anything we can do to help you get that yeah. contact rate up to 80%, which is ultimately where we think you should be. If you're on any of the podcast platforms listening to this Taco Tuesday episode, give us a five-star review. Um, yes. Give us a one-star review. If you feel this is a one-star show, I want to hear from you, Mr. or Mrs. Listener. Let us know what you think. And until next time. All right, guys. Adios.